Thyroid support supplements are a huge cash cow for manufacturers. I'm talking like hundreds of millions of dollars. Are they worth your money? This is a very common question and you can't really expect an honest answer from a supplement manufacturer. So let's have a closer look. In a previous video we looked at three important nutrients that you need for thyroid health and food sources of each. So I recommend you watch that first. And in this video we're going to look at four nutrients that thyroid support supplements uh, claim to help with. Iodine supplements are unnecessary. This is because iodine deficiency is almost never the cause of hypothyroidism in developed countries. The big exception to this rule is if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Now, iodine requirements increase by more than 60% as iodine is required for mother and child. Now, women who fall into this category should definitely be supplementing with iodine as per the World Health Organization's recommendations. Note that in some instances of Hashimoto's, concentrated iodine sources such as iodine drops, seaweed or kelp tablets may worsen hypothyroidism. This is another reason to be weary of iodine supplementation. You should certainly inform your doctor before trying anything new. Selenium is a popular thyroid supplement and theoretically could help if you are selenium deficient. A review of the research concluded evidence is lacking to definitively support or refute the use of selenium for thyroid health. Some studies found it could help, but they were heavily biased. In other words, it's unclear if it helps from a scientific standpoint. Patient testimonial suggests that it works, but that's going to change from case to case. Also note the risk of known side effects, which include fatigue, irritability, digestive stress, and even hair loss if used long term. Speaking of hair loss, it also may be worth trialing a zinc supplement on its own, that is, as opposed to a thyroid supplement that combines zinc and selenium. There are a few studies on zinc supplementation, with one finding it may only be beneficial for patients with goiter. Therefore, there is no way to give a solid recommendation for or against its use. Vitamin B12 is a micronutrient that helps regulate energy release. Low levels can make you feel exceptionally lethargic, so in theory this supplement could help fight fatigue that often comes with underactive thyroid. Generally speaking, it doesn't hurt to give it a try, and anecdotally, they work very well. But much like iodine, low levels of vitamin B12 is very rare in developed countries if you eat a wholesome and varied diet. So to sum up, generally speaking, supplemental iodine and B12 are unnecessary, as your levels are very likely to be adequate. Uh, but supplemental selenium and zinc can help if you are deficient in these nutrients. Uh, and it, it, the effectiveness is going to depend uh, on the individual on a case-by-case -case basis. As always, consult with your personal healthcare provider before trying any new supplements. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and you can leave a comment. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to click the red button below the video to subscribe.